Hey guys, this is uh, a breeding update of what I've got for the season. So you uh, just show you what I've got. See how it started. This is my normal female to my Mojave male. She ovulated yesterday, I'm pretty sure. She got really big. She still got a little bit of scale separation, not much. But uh, that'll be a cool pairing. So I'm pretty sure they've got one ovulation there. And then, uh, got uh, these two paired. Um, spider male to a uh, reduced pattern female. Haven't seen them. Uh, seen them a lot, not not that much, a couple times. But um, they haven't ovulated yet. But they, it's still pretty early in season, so I won't doubt that they won't. But this is a motley male corn snake to a... Uh, uh, just this corn snake. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, yeah, she ovulated too. She is gonna have her babies and she's waiting on them for her to lay. Um, so this year I'm breeding ball pythons, corn snakes, and boas. So I only got two layers of balls, one of a corn, and uh, and three bowl litters that I should have. So yeah, let's get started and look at them. Um, I got really big into boas, so as you can see here. But this is my salmon, 100% het for our albino male. And my, or a breeding loan that I'd run, a hog island female. So though the babies will come out to be salmon, um, het for albino, 66 six possible het for albino, and het for sunset. So that'll be cool. Uh, another normal female here is about 24 pounds. This one's about 14. Um, I'll be breeding to a uh, salmon, six or possible het super salmon. So it'll be cool. I just got another normal there that I'm not breeding. And then I got a normal here that I'm breeding to the super salmon also, or the possible super salmon. So I hope they prove out. It'll be really cool. So I'm breeding the super salmon to two females. You can just see them back there. A lot. She's a lot. He is a lot smaller compared to her. So, see them lock a couple times, but no ovulations yet. But got a kind of late pairing to them to the season. So, uh, yeah. So, but that's what I got for this season. Um, it's pretty good saying that out of my six, or, yeah, my six litters, I've had two ovulations already. Saying that I've started the bowl is late, so only one of my ball pythons haven't haven't all, been all haven't had their ovulation yet. So yeah, but uh, stay tuned for my updates. I'm gonna do a collection um, update in a reptile room, but next year I'm gonna have a, a lot more litters of boas and ball pythons because I just got big into them. So all mine will be ready next year. So I'll have probably like eight litters of boas and ball pythons, but not so much corn. Just probably one, if that. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for, uh, I'm going to do updates to my litters and stuff. And, uh, when they have, anyone has eggs or, uh, anyone has their babies or ovulates some more, I'll make a video. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Comment, rate, and subscribe, guys.